hello learners in this lecture we will try to understand how to find the plinth beam how to find the roof beam bottom roof beam outside shuttering and the roof beam inside shuttering first whenever you get a drawing what you have to do try to find out how many numbers of beams are given like rb1 rb2 rb3 rb4 and so on right we have all the beams here even here we have beams i have not written it here when i'll update i'll update the right uh, pdf and upload it so everywhere rb5 rb6 rb7 rb8 rb9 rb10 11 12 13 15 you know then we had 16 17 we have 18 19 20 21 22 beams we have all together yeah all together we have rb23 beams the first step will be to write all those things now we'll consider only one beam that is rb1 i have written it here rb1 the size is 230 by 450 i need to find the beam bottom first rb1 230 by 450 I need to find the beam outside then RB1 again 230 by 450 I need to find the beam inner side now coming to this since it is a shattering quantity I need to find this in terms of square meter now we'll take the center to center line so this is my RB1 I'll try to zoom in a bit yeah so what is the center distance from A to B A to B the center to center is 4500 but i need to put the beam bottom from the column outer face to the column outer face we already seen that so 4500 minus this offset of 150 minus this offset of 150 we need to deduct so in the excel sheet what i'm gonna do i've written it here 4.5 is my center to center minus 0 0.15 minus 0 0.15 so i'm gonna get 0 4.2 meter is the length of my beam bottom now coming to the bread so your beam bottom will be applied in this way isn't it i'll show you one more image yeah just hold on for a minute i'll show it yeah so you can see that this is my beam beam bottom that is from this outer face to this outer face i put my beam bottom and the, it will be the breadth of that right this shut, this bottom what you can see it's the length and the breadth so this is how it looks this is a breadth and this is a length of that so this is a breadth what you can see here you have to find this b this bottom is 230 mm it's, it depends on the drawing so i'll go back to the excel sheet now so it's a 230 is a breadth of that so in the breadth i need to write 0 0.23 now it is a shuttering quantity you have to multiply the length and the breadth so what i'm gonna do equal to make it as 4.2 multiply that by 0 0.23 and enter the enter button you'll get the quantity in square meter that is 0 0.966 so rb1 i have only one beam bottom so i'm multiplying it by one the total quantity is 0 0.966 now coming to the beam outside shuttering so and outside shuttering also the length remains same you have to find one length the rest beam bottom beam outer and the beam inside the length remains the same see this is how it looks your beam bottom and even this also remains the same so you don't have problem with that this length what you're going to take no this is out this is one of my shuttery this length will go completely right so that is why what you have to do you have to take the same length try to find one beam bottom and take it the same length for all three so the so beam outer is also 4.2 but when it comes to the outside you have to take the full depth of the shuttery because outside shuttering as i mentioned you have to put it completely that is why what is the depth of the rb1 it is 450 mm so i'm writing it as 0 0.45 now multiply 4.2 by uh, 4.2 into 0 0.45 we'll do that 4.2 multiply by that multiply 0 0.45 it is 1.89 only one beam is there multiply you are going to get now comes the main thing whenever you put the beam inner side the length remains the same but when it comes to the depth what you have to do you have to you have to reduce the slab thickness that means I'll go back to the drawing now. See, this is my inside. I have calculated the outside shuttering. I have calculated the inside shuttering. I have to calculate the inside shuttering. Whenever you put up the inside shuttering, your slab and the beam will be casted together. That is a monolithic casting. Always the beam inside shuttering will be the total height depth of the beam minus the slab thickness. Now, what is the slab which is coming here? The name of the slab which is coming inside this region is s1 slab so try to find out what is the thickness of s1 slab the thickness of s1 slab is 150 mm so what i need to do wherever i have a 
depth the total depth of the beam is 450 reduce 150 from that that is 0 0.45 minus 0 0.15 it comes out to be 0 0.3 and then multiply 4.2 i'll do it again 4.2 into 0 0.3 and hit the enter button so it is 1.260 is my inside shuttering quantity multiply it by one you're gonna get the total uh, uh beam uh, inside shuttering yeah now if i take one more beam the procedure remains the same for all the things just we'll try to understand uh few more images so that we have no doubts after that yeah we already seen this you have to see this see this is my depth of the shuttering the length will remain the same so again when i come for inside shuttering i'll show you one of your inside shuttering yeah now concentrate here i'll show you inside shuttering yeah see this is my beam bottom it will start from here to here right now this will my inside shuttering now inside shuttering what we have to do whatever is the depth of the slab whatever is the total height of your beam total height of your beam reduce the slab thickness from there so this will become my inside shuttering and outside shuttering will go completely it will be go for full depth so this is what this is the only catch we need to understand the rest all things remains the same like we did for the plinth beam we'll try to see one more images you can see it here this is my inside shuttering so here everywhere slab is gonna come again you can see it here this are my inside shuttering here all these are my inside shuttering my beam will pass through that but this will be my outside shuttering this will be my outside shuttering yeah i'll show you one video so that uh, we'll be able to understand this so this is my beam bottom you can see here so this is my beam bottom this is my outside shuttering you can see it now it has it is a full height and this is my inside shuttering when i put this inside shuttering i'll show it here yeah see this outside shuttering will go complete depth so let us say it is 450 mm right 450 mm but when i put this inside shuttering this height you know this will be total height minus whatever your slab is coming you no know, because your slab and this will be casted together so whatever is your height of the whatever is the depth of your beam reduce that that's it yeah we'll try to go ahead you can see it here this is so inside here will be inside shuttering So see now here i've done a small a kind of experiment so this is how it is here the level will be same here the level will be same so but uh, when you do the outside shuttering you see the thickness now you can see this difference you can see this difference right from here to here this is the thickness of your slab so this is the thickness of the slab. let us say it is 150 mm so this much you have to deduct from your total depth that's it and that's it this is how we have to do it so I hope it is understood up to here. We'll try to go back to the drawing again. Yeah. Yeah. So similarly, you have to do it for RB2 as well. I'll take RB2 now. We'll try to do for one more beam. That is RB2. Go back to the drawing. Again, RB2, the center to center is 6,500 minus 0 0.15 from this side and minus 0 0.3 from this side. So what I'm going to do, I'll go here. It is 6.5 minus 0 0.1, 0 0.3 from this side and 0 0.15 from the other side. So 6.05 is my beam uh, column outer to outer. Drag all the three so that for beam bottom, beam outer and beam inner side remains the same. Now I, I need to find the beam bottom, whatever is the breadth of your beam put it here and for the beam outer side take the complete height of your plane the beam uh, complete height of your beam and for the beam inner side whatever is the depth see which slab is intersecting now come to rb2 i'll take you to the drawing now this is my rb2 in the rb2 i have s3 slab here whereas in s rb1 i had a s1 slab but in rb2 i have s3 slab 
So I'll see what is the thickness of S3 slab. The thickness of S3 slab is 175 mm. So what I'm going to do, I'll go here 0.45 minus 0.175 because it was 175. I'll, I'll detect that. So my inside shuttering height will be 0.275. Multiply 6.05 into 0.275. It comes out to be 1.664. Multiply by 1 because only 1 is there. So you are, you are going to get the beam inside shuttering. In this way, we need to find out the beam bottom, beam outside and the beam inside shuttering for all. So beam bottom and outside is very simple. When it comes to the inside, make sure you are detecting the slab thickness from that. I hope uh, it is understood up to here. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.